Yes. Uh, well, this morning, members of our ITS uh, team uh, noted that it, it appeared that the uh, university was uh, the target of a cyber attack. And so to prevent uh, the kind of remote access that usually accompanies uh, that kind of thing, we immediately uh, cut off internet access to the campus and its network. And that includes all of the services and uh, tools that uh, would be accessed through our network. So we shut that down and we have, uh, our team has spent the day uh, evaluating, you know, what might've been exposed, what might've been reached and uh, learning what uh, what we can do to uh, eliminate any vulnerability and then of course bring everything back up online and get back to our normal operations. We are in summer classes, so we do have students who are participating in classes that include students who are here in person as well as students who are in hybrid or uh, fully online. So uh, yes, we have those students. And then of course, we also do have a number of summer camps uh, that bring students, uh, younger students to campus as well. So different offices and different classes are adapting as they can. So if it's uh, work that people do in person or classes that meet in person, those are continuing. If, they, if it's work that requires accessing those online sources or classes that are done online, then uh, faculty members and supervisors are identifying other ways to, to conduct their classes or conduct, conduct their work and otherwise are indeed pausing things. We undergo a billion attacks in a 24 hour period. And I know, and I know that sounds like a big number, but that is correct. There are a billion attacks uh, within a 24 hour period. That's not unheard of for an institution like ours. And so we have great uh, security systems, great people who work to make sure that we are protected. And uh, of course, once in a while, a vulnerability does open up. And so today is one of those that we are facing. But one of the challenges, is, of course, is that we can't email people, we can't post on our website, we can't post in any of the other communication tools that we typically use. So we are relying on our social media platforms, the, the primary uh, three that we use are Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And so we are communicating with people on those platforms and posting updates there as we can. Uh, we do have some text systems, but those of course are limited in how much we can send. So we're asking people to pay attention to our social media channels. Um, and also watch their text messages so that they can be directed where they can get more information. Our hope is that our uh, systems will start coming up and we'll be able to communicate with people more directly um, as soon as, as we assure that those are protected and safe and that there aren't vulnerabilities that will be opened back up.